scared Meg. Trevor, she had so many abortions with gangsters in Crenshaw District in her late twenties. Joining the royal family all of a sudden may seem like a fairy tale come true, but the solid truth is way far from the dream such was when Meghan Markle thought she had achieved the way to anyone would only get to dream of. But when reality hit Meg hard, that's when she knew she was in for a fiery ride. Her repeated status was stained when Trevor spilled secrets from her past. Not many are aware that the former suit star had too many abortions in the past. Dark secrets should be hidden where it rightfully belongs, in the past. And when you're a public figure standing on the high ground where people look up to you, admire you, and perceive you to be hiding and keeping your personal life would lead us to tighten those reins of privacy. Society has a hard time giving Megan the private, peaceful life she deserves, but rather the scandals and secrets keep coming through. One such secret that intrigued the public eye was when Trevor spilled the beans on Meghan's abortions. Trevor believed the fact that Meghan had so many abortions at the age of 28 and 29 with a neighbor gangster. The place where Meghan had grown up was filled with numerous gangster groups and associations. They were widespread all over that it wouldn't come off as a surprise if you got tangled up with them somehow at some point. Some of the such gangster associations included local gangs in Gloucestershire Mansion Highgrove and the Crenshaw Mafia gangsters. The gangster infiltration turned out to be a nuisance since 1981 since this made the region much more dangerous. Some sources also state that Dorian Marco's mother had not been visible to the public ever since the news of her daughter's suspected relationship with Prince Harry resurfaced. However, character-wise, Marco Prince Harry's mentor states that she's a kind and considerate person. Meghan was also said to be roaming around with many men in the area where she lived, that is Los Angeles. Some of the guys she had connections with were rapper Mike and Jackson Bill Jaguar's wide receiver Marquis Lee. Her parents, Thomas Markle and Dorian Reglin, were also well aware of the fact that at times she would sleep at her boyfriend's house known as Queen Street Bloods. Meghan's family does not have a decent reputation regarding this topic either. Crenshaw is a part of a gangster-infested neighborhood in Los Angeles, along with Compton and Long Beach. A member of Megan's family lives in Inglewood, which borders Crenshaw to the south, thus making them dangerously close to such a cautious environment, and her aunt is very interested in good-looking people, naturally resulting in her wandering around the neighborhood with different men. Megan's family and Trevor's family had a vast difference when it came to their way of lifestyle. While Meghan's family grew up in crime-ridden slums, Trevor, the wealthy Hollywood producer, resides in Los Angeles. Situations worsen when Markle's ex-husband shows up and spills about the fact that she used to have abortions during the years they were together. According to Trevor, Meghan Markle's father's siblings claim that Meghan has had a hysterectomy due to the abortions she took at the age of 28 or 29, rendering her unable to procreate since then. Such scandalous accusations were further accompanied by disreputable claims that Megan's children are not biologically her children. Even though it may sound like absolute lies and disputes, there are many scientific reasons that support this claim, such as abortions and several occasions that may result in Asherman syndrome. Scar tissue and adhesion bands of scar-like tissue that form between two surfaces inside the body and cause them to stick together. Women with this syndrome are unable to conceive and have recurrent miscarriages or stillbirths. But then again, in some cases, hysterectomy may be necessary surgery. Going back to Trevor and Megan's story, we understand that their divorce took place in Los Angeles, where Megan legally resides. Sources confirm that their divorce was a quick and carefully executed legal procedure that made sure that both parties needed to disclose their private matters, such as marital assets paperwork associated with the divorce settlements, and financial settlements. The sources also stated that Marco had to give up her ex-husband's surname and that he continues to run his production company from an office in Los Angeles. He stated very clearly that he had comments on this topic. Comment down below if you have any comments on this topic, unlike Trevor and Glesson. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe to get updates on such content.